Hey, good morning everyone. So starting off, it's a rainy day. I stayed with a warm showers host yesterday, uh, Peter and Lynn. Much appreciated. They were so nice to me. Again, I felt like I was being treated like royalty. Um, didn't want to leave. They've got a huge cat called Jester. Uh, if you want to follow them on Instagram, it's uh, Jester the Giant Bunny. Really, really big bunny. I'll show you a picture uh, in a second. Um, yeah, so today, unfortunately, uh, Storm Everett, I think it's called, has landed um, to the UK and it's moving this way. And it's going to be overhaul uh, in the middle of this afternoon. So <laughs> that's pretty much where I am right now. So yeah, it's going to be rainy day today, all rainy days. Um, well that's just the way it goes sometimes with touring. Now I'm not really looking forward to riding today, but I'm going to, I'm going to make some small progress. Uh, make up the rest of the ride I didn't finish yesterday. I'll, I'll finish today, I think, and then I'll, I'll set up camp in a sort of parky area, hopefully. I won't get too wet. Um, but yeah, uh, really, really nice to come to Witheringham. Oh, it is cold. <laughs> After this storm goes, there's going to be a cold front coming down too. So, all the joys. Anyway, I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to show you what I wanted to show you yesterday. That's coming up. We're going to cross that today. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. But there you go, there's a little bit of information. Uh, I think I might have caught a non rain window. Maybe. I don't know what we're going to find out. But yeah, today it's going to rain all day. All day. Uh, in the sort of evening, it's going to slow down a little bit. So yeah, let's go. Oh, uh, before I continue as well, um, it will go, I should say. Uh, we are planning today just to get past Beverly area. Um, so that's today's ride. Oh, or just before Driffield. Hi. Look at those clouds, man. Oh, welcome to England. It's summer, guys. Um, I'm on what a one of the A roads at the moment. I got a steep hill coming up, so that should pull me up. I just hope the uh, rain holds out. Here's the River Rum, uh, River Humber. I'm going to cross over that in a minute. Can you see the bridge? background maybe you can't toll free for cyclists however this is a really busy road guys this is what I've been looking forward to uh, so we're gonna leave now um, uh, Lincolnshire and we're taking this bridge over here so this is called the uh, Humber Bridge dedicated cycle path and it's free toll free and uh, this is 2.2 kilometers in length suspension bridge pretty awesome eh so we're gonna we're gonna leave Lincolnshire and then soon enough we're gonna be in uh, I think it's called East Riding of Yorkshire or Riding of Yorkshire. I forget the name exactly. It's a weird one. Anyway, we're going to another county. Woo! Cycling up a little bit here. So I cycled from over there today. And yeah, we're going across the uh, Humber, Humber River. I'm going to ride a little bit more. And I'll take some more video footage as I go 
get a little bit further on. Wow, cool. That's a long way up. And that's a long way down. <laughs> Here we go then, more than halfway over the bridge now. And yeah, east of Yorkshire riding. No, east riding of Yorkshire, that's, that's the county where we're going into next. Uh, I seem to be the only idiot riding right now. <laughs> and it's weather. Look at the green, look at the green. I've got uh, 40 kilometers to go. I'm gonna finish off yesterday's ride. It's just after Beverly, just before Drickfield, there's a park area. I think I'll be able to camp there today. I don't think anyone's going to use the park. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ride. Uh, it's saying that I'm going to get there at 12.38. I might have a really early one today. I don't know. I might stop off at a coffee shop and uh, have a coffee, get out the rain, charge a little bit. Well, I'm fully charged thanks to uh, Peter and Lynn. Really appreciate that. Um, so nicely, so, so nice. Can't get over that. Um, anyway, yeah, so I think that's going to be the ride today. Beverly's the, uh, the administrative cen centre or ca uh, the capital of the East Riding of Yorkshire. It's definitely coming down hard now, the rain. Oh well, never mind, eh? Uh, the temperature today is, is, is around about... Uh, whoa, the brakes. Sorry about that. Uh, if I have to endure it, so do you. Uh, the temperature is around about 15 degrees high today, 12, 12 low. So it's not too warm. Uh, <laughs> I look absolutely so... As long as my feet don't get wet, that's the main thing. But they're gonna get wet. All right, guys. I'm gonna continue on anyway. Uh, I don't wish you were here. <laughs> we need some right. Oh no! Puddle. It's one way to clean the bike, eh? I'm gonna stop here for a bit, get a coffee, figure out uh, the next plan. I've been uh, really lucky with the weather. Let's just roll a little bit, show you what I'm seeing. Yeah, that's what I see. Shall I stop here? Guys, I just want to show you the detail of this. Uh, let me get a little bit closer. Can you see that? That is really impressive. Anyways, time to go get coffee. I've got to drive through the street, little high street. They've got two Neros here. As you know, I'm a Nero fan. <laughs> well, if you didn't know, you know now. Um, yeah, let's keep going. I've got a feeling it's gonna rain in a minute. So, it'd be nice to have a nice little break and uh, let the bike get wet because then it will <laughs> clean up a little bit. Uh, look at my bags. Filthy going through those farmlands just a minute ago. Yeah, like my legs, look at my legs. <laughs> my shoes. And the problem is, it's like there's no place for me to clean these, right? Uh, okay, here we go. Let's go for this high street. Yeah. Beverly's high street. I'm not going to go to the first narrow. I'm going to go to the second one just so I can show you 
Looks like this little town. Good little horn there, squeaking brakes. <laughs> I, I I dislike it when people just change direction. That's the thing. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little tour of Beverly. I'm gonna shut the camera up here. Oh, one more thing. Have you noticed that everyone's wearing winter jackets and trousers here? That's how cold it is. <laughs> it's summer though. Remember that guys, it's summer. Bro, this is a really nice one. Or this please. <laughs> Alright guys, so I'm just going to stop here in a second and give you an update. <laughs> That's the view we're seeing at the moment. Cornfields. Uh, not cornfields. Um, Hayfields, isn't it? So... Yeah, this is where I was supposed to stop last night. And uh, now I need to uh, change the course. Actually, what am I doing? Uh, let me just quickly change that. <laughs> so we've, uh, I just changed the courses. So next up then is Driffield. Uh, the weather is, it's not raining guys. It might look miserable and gray, but at least it's not raining. Um, and that's the main thing. Of course the roads are going to be soggy and wet and horrible. And I'm going to flick up loads of dirt on my bike and I'm going to be caked in it. Well, hopefully not because, well not too much because I've got mud guards, but yeah. So the plan today, go from here to Driffield, uh, from Driffield, we're going to go to Bridlington. That's about 50 kilometers or, or so away. Uh, I might be lucky. I've contacted a, another warm showers host while, while I was in the coffee shop. Um, I, I quickly went to the website and had a look and there's someone in Bridlington. Uh, that's what spurred me to go that way. But even if that doesn't happen, um, there are cliff faces and uh, I'm starting to meet the northern beaches now. So that means I can start camping along the beaches, hopefully. Uh, so we'll, we'll see how it turns out tonight. Uh, but yeah, that's my main focus. Uh, just to give you an update on statistics. Uh, so right now I've been riding two hours, 30 minutes and done 50.6 kilometers. And uh, it's saying we have a hundred kilometers to go. Uh, that's if I complete uh, what I should have done today. Um, I know that could be a possibility as well. We'll see how good I feel. Um, obviously after the warm showers host yesterday, having a nice sleep, Lynn giving me bolognese and cake and all sorts has re-energized me. So <laughs> who knows, maybe a hundred kilometers is possible today. But again, uh, Bridlington is my goal. Let's keep moving. Uh, please, 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 don't rain, okay? No rain. Oh, he's trying to get across the road. Now he's pretending he's dead. Cute. I'll help him get across. 
arrived in Great Driffield. I'm looking for a I'm gonna get some oil and I wanna get some food. Cycling Network 2 is going to do my own thing. I, I noticed that, if you remember I was explaining that, it kind of takes you on these weird tangents to take you on these quiet roads, but um, you know what, there's other quiet roads which is just parallel that you could take instead. And so that's what I've done. I, I just took a shortcut, which is 20 kilometers. And um, well, that's 20 kilometers saved. I guess it's because it's trying to take you to uh, certain cities or towns or whatnot. Anyway, I've foregone, foregone my original plan, which is to go to uh, Bridgelington. Is it? I forget what it is. Um, the Warm Showers host, I just quickly checked out. But it looks like, yeah, he hasn't contacted me. So what's the point of going to that place, right? Um, going 20 kilometers out of my way, I want to go north. So yeah, I'm like kind of on these <laughs> quiet roads, um, optimizing the National Cycling Network to, oh, one, sorry. Hi, yeah. um, optimizing it for myself. Like going in a straight line rather than doing these weird wiggly things. Still on super quiet roads. I mean, I was going to say how many cars you see. <laughs> it's just one there, right? But uh, yeah. So um, I'm 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 only 44 kilometers away uh, from reaching uh, today's milestone. But I will say uh, 43 now. I um, mean, it says I'll get there. At, 751 but I know there's a ginormous hill 215 meters of climbing to get to this place uh, but this place is a good one so I might get there it's just that I'm gonna have quite a few hills uh, according to this I've got one two three four hills to climb um, yeah I've already done 536 meters total elevation today and my distance is 93.23 kilometers. I've been riding four hours, 43 minutes. Um, on and off showers, I just feel motivated. I stopped off at Driftfield and I got something to eat. So I just feel like, ah, should I just push on? Should I make up what, uh, well, should I just complete? what I'm supposed to do today um, or if I come across something I don't know we'll see we'll see what I come across against but that's the sort of dilemma in my mind um, I've got my rigid plan which if I just ride another 42 kilometers now probably then I'll, I'll be at the destination that I was expected to get at for today um, just means a big ride Tomorrow I've got uh, some more hills, so yeah, like if I burn myself out today, then uh, tomorrow might be a hard day. I don't know, uh, I want to ask you guys, but you can't give me the answer right now. I'm living in it as we speak. So yeah, I just want to give you an update. That, that update was far too long. But um, I hope you found it valuable. Let's see what I end up doing. Wow, I just stopped off here. Look at that view, guys. 
so I decided uh, I'm taking another shortcut. It's a straight line. Uh, I'm taking this B road, it's quite quiet. And um, yeah, we're gonna go, I think where that, you're not gonna be able to see it, but there's a sort of something sticking out on the hill. It's a 200 meter climb to get up to that point. Um, it looks like a really great place to potentially camp. I don't know if it is, it's a bit of a risk, but I think that's our place over there, guys. I'm gonna make up what I missed yesterday. I'm gonna add it on today. Right now I'm feeling pretty good. Hopefully I can sustain this. Um, I don't know what Lynn put in my food, but <laughs> it's working. It's working, I got a lot of energy today. I'm having a good ride today. So yeah, um, I, I do have the wind coming on the side against me a little bit, but we're heading over there. Uh, it's saying that I'm gonna arrive about eight o'clock, so I'm gonna get moving um, because, yeah, I need to get there as soon as possible, but what have you? I'll show you where we can All right, let's move. Absolutely so, guys. Another rainstorm. Good news is, I've got two more hills to go and uh, 24 point, let's just say 25 kilometers left. Oh, it's going good, man. Like when it rains like this and I'm already drenched, might as well just keep going, eh? Um, we're gonna be in Scarborough in a minute. Uh, only for a short time though. I have no idea about what's in Scarborough. Uh, I just recognize the name. I think it's quite famous, isn't it? Oh, maybe I'll have to Google it. Anyway, I'm gonna keep climbing. Nearly at the top of this one. Then one more climb to go. I'm in Scarborough and I want to show you something really cool. Now this is a site for sore eyes. Check this out. Oh, how awesome is that? Anyway, we ain't got time to discover Scarborough today. We've got to get beyond Scarborough. But uh, I might film as I'm going around the town. But wow, just wow. Wow, I do like Scarborough, guys. It's pretty impressive, the architecture. Wow, look at this one. That's cool. Alright, leaving Scarborough, guys. And we're on one of those. I guess it's an old railway track converted to a path. But it is bumpy. Don't like it too much. We are on the Cinder Trail and we've got 14 cases to go. I think it's pretty much a trail like this now. I hope it's in good condition. To be honest, there's loads of wild camping options going this way. But I don't want to get to this certain point where I think it's going to be good. I just hope that other people aren't there. It's kind of like this summit next to a quarry, but I don't know. I think there's a picnic bench there as well. But I, I just hope it's not trashed and I hope, you know, today is a bit of a wet day, but you know, still people might be out on this trail, who knows. But we're getting to the point where it's getting, it's gonna be uh, starting to get dark in one more hour's time. So I've kind of timed it to perfection. I might as well give you an update. Uh, so, so far I've climbed 108 meters, 800 meters, sorry. And I've cycled, where are you? Six hours, 15 minutes. I've done 122 kilometers, so it's just gonna be shy maybe of 140 k's today. It's been a good ride. But fingers crossed this place is gonna turn out good. 
in a minute, then we're gonna have a steep climb. I'm just waiting for it to start. <laughs> Where are you? I don't know if I'm gonna regret this or not. Oh gosh. All right, guys, so just like the Cinder Trail. Um, and I just, I, I just, just can't believe how much it rained. Um, I tried to get my tent set up with as least amount of water possibly that I could get in here, but it's, uh, yeah, it's really bad. Um, I'm gonna get my wet clothes off. I'm gonna use that to mop up the excess wet water in here. Um, although I don't think that's going to do much because my clothes are wet and I'm going to change my clothes. don't think I'm going to have a chance to um, eat. Uh, I've got some bananas and stuff but I just can't believe how much it's raining outside. Alright, anyway I need to do this really quick because I'm going to get cold and I guess I'm going to get some sleep. You can probably hear it's raining outside. I mean the pen is waterproof so... No more water's gonna get in, which is good. <laughs> but the amount of water is in here, but it's not good. Alright, let me sort this out. And that's probably the end of today's video. Um, yeah, so uh, thanks for watching.